explanation. Okay, so our first question on our final first of three is on persistence. This is the actual prompt. Take one problem you have worked on this semester that you struggled to understand and solve and explain how the struggle itself was valuable. Notice what I put in bold. The explanation is really what you're being graded on. I'm gonna expect you to go back through and take a look in Google Classroom under classwork at everything we've done this semester and find something that you struggled with. Don't forget that we had a whole notebook of activities for unit one. That might have something in it, or there's all these Desmos that we did as well. You're gonna find one problem you worked on this semester that you struggled to understand and solve. Tell me what that problem is and then explain how this struggle itself was valuable. In these brackets is an explanation to help you answer this prompt. In the context of this question, describe the struggle and how you overcame the struggle. You must also, you might also discuss whether the struggling built aspects of your character in you, such as endurance, self-confidence, competence to solve new problems, and how these virtues might benefit you in later ventures. So that's to give you some idea of what I'm looking for when I say explain how the struggle itself was valuable. Before I move on, let's use the chat. Let me know if this makes sense so far with a thumbs up or a yes. Or if you have a question, put the question in there. Since I'm sharing my screen right now, I cannot see if you guys have given thumbs up on your thumbnail of your Zoom space, but I do see a couple thumbs up coming, so I'm gonna move on. Okay, <clears throat> question number two, curiosity. What mathematical ideas are you curious to know more about as a real result of taking algebra? Give one example of a question about the material that you'd like to explore further and describe why this is an interesting question to you. So the focus here is on curiosity. Think about one example, something that we did from the material we've explored that has made you curious to explore further. And then with that, describe why this is an interesting question to you or why you're interested in this topic. You might say, I wonder where symbols came from or why we started using um, variables. Or you might talk about, I wanna learn more about how lines change on a graph for marble slides based on how I change equations. Lots of possibilities to explore. And last question, creativity. Give one example of a mathematical idea from this class that you found creative and explain what you find creative about it. For example, you can choose an instance of creativity you experienced in your own problem solving or something you witnessed in another person's definition or reasoning. Now, there's only three questions. We have today and tomorrow, and it's a Google Doc. You could take screenshots of the problem that you're talking about, or a section of work that we did, or a slide from Desmos, and then use the rest of this to explain. Questions in the chat, please, before I set you off to work. Okay, well, we are gonna do this in our breakout rooms. Um, I will be in the main space. 
And if you have questions, you can either call me to your room or you can come back to the main space to ask your question. Uh, one question fifth period had was how long do the answers need to be? And I'm just going to tell you as long as they need to be. As long as it looks to me like you really took time to dig in and reflect, I'm going to be giving full points. If you give me a really brief answer where it looks like you just were like, OK, I'm done. Probably not going to be a high score. I'm giving you two days to answer three questions. So that should give you a sense of how much you should be putting into the answers. I will say that typically on a final, we would be in a very quiet classroom where people were not talking to each other. I don't mind if you check with each other and say, hey, I have this idea, what do you think? But it does need to be your own work. Hopefully while I'm talking, you have been able to open your Google document. This is the first time I've given a final like this. So let me know if you um, come upon something that I maybe didn't predict so that I can clarify. If you're going to room two, I want it to be quieter than room two would typically be. It is 141. I am going to give you 48 minutes in your space. No, 47 minutes in your space. And uh, again, I'll be in the main room. I might have my camera off and muted. And if I'm not here right away, maybe I ran to the restroom. But I will be here to be answering questions. I'm just going to be working on grading my seventh grade class. Okay.